Peace, what's up y'all? Welcome to Free Will Fishing again. We're out here on the beautiful windward side of the islands. We got Big Papa Will, their brother Trey, also known as Tremaine. We got Amari, Ade, and Boy Ryan here. It's a beautiful day. We have the perfect blend of clear, half clear skies, half cloudy skies behind us, you know, over there. That's a perfect blend for a good fishing day. So, hopefully, we'll hook up on something. And if not, we're still grateful anyway, all right? So we just thread, threaded the line through these holes here, through these uh, eyes of the pole as they call them. And we're going to put a bobber on because we're going to be doing a floating rig for this area that we're in right now. So we're going to pick out three hooks for all you guys, three lines. Okay. Stuff. And this is what we want to do first because we care about the, the fish and getting them off safely, especially if we're going to do a lot of catch and release. Did you see the hook, right? It has a tiny barb right there. What we're going to do is actually bend this barb in by squeezing it with these pliers. Okay, we're going to bend this barb in. This makes it a lot easier for us to unhook the fish. You see that? So that little tiny barb on the inside, we want that flat as we can get it. If not, break it. But it's <laughs> flat right now. So, oops, it's okay. <laughs> so that's what we're gonna do. And then here's the next thing we're gonna do to help the fish out and to help us to hook the fish easier is that we bend the hook just a little bit. You see this, Orion? We bend the hook just a little bit. This is called offsetting the hook. Okay. You offset it so that it hooks up. Make a leader line. I'm gonna use, I like to use a 12 pound test. Even though the fish that we'll probably be catching will be like one, one and a half pounds at the most. Two pounds if you're really lucky. But 12 pound test, <laughs> a, a, a one and a half pound fish can break 10 pound test or eight pound test. It's usually harder for them to break 12 pound test. So we're gonna, you know, do maybe this about this length of leader. Okay, and the leader is just basically your hook line, and that is going to be on the end. So I'm gonna do a Palmar knot on this also. Okay, so I passed it through. Yeah, and I'm passing it right back through. Kind of like threading a needle. All right. So what we can do here, make sure your grip is good. <laughs> and what we're doing is doing a regular overhand knot like this. Regular overhand knot. And then we're going to pass the hook through this loop that's here. So this takes some practice, especially when it comes to not hooking yourself. <laughs> so I'm going to, so that I can grab this hook but still hold on to the line, I'm grabbing it with these pliers. You see this? Makes it a lot easier and you don't have to worry about hooking yourself. Yeah? So this is your leader line. I'm going to clip this little end off. So it's not in the way. Right. Uh oh. You got a nice one on there. Come on, come on. Come on. Put it, put it, you got a nice one on there. That's a new one. That's a, I'm not sure. Thanks, grandson. Let me see. Wait, we might not have to put it on. Oh, my bad. I walked straight to the video. Oh, he got off. Give me that. Ryan got him! <laughs> it's 
Show your dad, see what we got. Yes. Oh, this is Nanui. 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 that we don't necessarily want or need, you actually get blessed with bigger and better fish. Well, we cannot have better fish. Now, there's nothing wrong with the Nui, but this one isn't really all that big, as you see. How about just the other yeah. fish that he Did caught you? were big? Yeah. Did you want to get um, a closer? No, 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 Did you want to get a closer shot to no, 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 no. There you go. This is an Nui. Oh, We're going to release this guy. Yeah, no, 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 no. yeah. It's a nice no, 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 no. color, nice and bright one. No. But it's, it's small, we're gonna let it go. All right. Hey, Dad, we're gonna throw him back, okay? <laughs> Don't worry, you're gonna get a way bigger one. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Oh, this is a bigger one. Right there. Oh, where? Oh, okay. for me to take him home yet. Yeah. And that's it's all about the fish life. And we're enjoying ourselves. The weather is beautiful. Can't we can't ask for better. No. You know, I'm very grateful. Hawaii, you gotta love it. Look at this amazing view out here. You gotta love this water.
So by knowing me or by watching any of my videos, you already know that I do a lot of fishing instruction. What you might not realize is that every time I teach somebody something, I'm always learning myself in the process. And one of the things that I think I learned recently is that there's no one way to cast. You know, as long as you're keeping in mind safety, you know, making sure you're not going to hook anybody or anything, and making sure you're just aiming to the spot that you really want your bait to land. As long as you're keeping those things in mind, there's many different ways to cast. And as you're witnessing now, three different ways of casting. And they all look equally awesome in slow-mo. <laughs> We're going to catch a rainbow papillo. I'm going to catch a black papillo with brown stripes on it and a brown tail.
There was a stretch of time from my childhood to my early adulthood where my father couldn't be in my life and I would always dream of us one day having one of those typical father-son moments where I would be catching a pass from him. Now I'm going to be honest, I definitely didn't imagine him throwing me some pliers wrapped in fishing gloves. <laughs> but this moment that you're watching could not have felt more perfect. All right, this is a uh, Omilu. You see like the speckled blue spots there. Very beautiful. These have to be at least 10 inches in order for you to keep them by. I like them to be 11. I predict this is 11. Let's see what the size is here. All right, you wanted this? Yeah, we got this. From, 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 fork, from, from fork to face. Yeah, this is 10 and a half. Wait. Today? Can we keep it? This is uh, 11. Actually, 11 and a no. Can we, can we keep it? Yeah, we can actually. Oh, wait, 11 on the nose.
what's up, y'all? You just uh, witnessed a really cool day, us being able to just chill right here on the shoreline and, and enjoy the ocean, enjoy fishing. That's what it's all about. You know, we got a chance to you know teach a couple things and uh, of course learn a couple things along the way or remember a couple things too. You know, so we had Papa Blue here. You know, came out here with us. You know, hooked up on an Anui and whatnot and. You know, of course, a lot of today was catch and release. We did keep one, but you know, it's not about catching. You know what I mean? It's really about enjoying, uh, you know, memories, making memories. So, you know, that's what I'm all about. And you know, thank you for tuning in. I'm glad that you guys were able to catch this episode. You know, it's just as much of a joy, you know, providing this kind of, uh, you know, venue to show. Uh, positive people doing a positive thing um, as it is for me to just be out here, you know. So otherwise, I'd be trying to do it by myself or something like that. Sometimes I am because, you know, no one's available or it's just a good time to go and spur the moment. But it's really about enjoying each other and, and learning from each other and enjoying each other's company. So thank you for tuning in once again. There's no better place to retire than to be with my son. <laughs> and my grandchildren. Yeah. What? <laughs> you should see the scenery. Yeah. It's awesome. I'm going to live a long time. I'm going to enjoy all of this. That's right. That's right. Trust me. <laughs> Fish Whisper, out. Papa <laughs> Will. Hey, y'all. Uh, once again, I really like to thank you for you know checking in with us. I just want to use this as an opportunity to remind everybody um, it's important, really, really important to pick up your trash when you're fishing. Really important. You know, we make it a point anytime we see something that's crazy, any kind of trash or anything like that. We found today, we found some batteries, we found some, you know, plastic. All of those things are really bad for the ocean. It's bad. It makes it a bad time for fishing. Fish don't want to come to a place that's all dirty and murky and nasty because of our trash. So. Um, we always make it a point to pick up trash before we start fishing um, and a lot of times after we start fishing as well, I mean after we're finished, uh, we pick it up and um, that always seems to kind of like give us a good vibe and it always makes it a really successful day out on the ocean for us too, you know, so if you want to try that, it's great, try doing it. I think it's great if everybody, every fisherman on this island and really every fisherman around the world that shoreline fishes, if they just pack this stuff, you know, look around, take five minutes out of your fishing day to pick up stuff around, pick it up off uh, the ground, pick it up out of the ocean if you can grab it. You know, imagine what this world could be like if we can all do that, all of us fishermen. I know we can do it, so it's a challenge to you. Let's see if you do it. Let's see if you make it a practice to pick up trash in the area. We love y'all. We appreciate y'all. Thank you to the ocean. Yeah, once again, peace, love, fishing.